in regards to Matthew Vickers, I am on Ethan Ralph's side. I'm unironically a Ralph male. I hope Matthew if Matthew Vickers gets slapped with the contempt, that would make me laugh out loud. I would piss myself laughing. Ethan Ralph has had a week. And I may need a second to suppress another sneeze. I apologize. Um, it started with Ethan Ralph arriving in California. Why is, let me take a great picture of him while I suffer. This is, I don't, I don't know who's taking this picture. I assume it's like a waiter or something, but he looks absolutely horrendous in this. And this was his big announcement that he has made it to California and he's ready to go. Because you see, this was the culmination of months of filing leading up to a big moment. His plan was to land in uh, California. Uh have a visitation with Xander because he can visit two twice a month but he can usually only visit once a month because of uh, the flights to Mexico uh, have a hearing with Mr. Vi against Mr. Vickers for violating his restraining order there are apparently 32 different charges of violating his restraining order to be heard that day on Monday so it was like arrive on Friday uh, visit Xander Monday have this hearing and then next Friday, see Xander again for another two hours. Let's see how this actually played out. So here's Ralph in front of the school. I wonder what he's looking for in that school with his blue hair. Law no, I say no e-gays. No e-gays never. Man, I fuck bussy. Recate a sex law sent $3 in Litecoin. You're a Wait, is that an edit? Man. I fuck bussy. No, it's not. I fuck bussy. I fuck bussy. I fuck bussy. So he's looking for that bussy. Um, that's that's a side objective. That's just that's just a, a number uh, plan B. Find that bussy. Uh, primary objective is to see Xander. So this is Ralph. Uh on Friday, last immediately after last stream, talking about his visitation with Xander, saying, I had another great visit with my son, Alexander, tonight. We watched Bluey, and he ate a Reese's Big Cup with one hand, LOL. True Ralph Amel. Unfortunately, I can't show you that, but I do have the picture from myself since they lost big in court over that. Many hugs, literally kind of a perfect visit. He loves my mirror... Blue Oakleys and laughs like a maniac every time I put them on. I want to get him a pair for his birthday, but I don't know what would happen to them. I might still anyways. Core on Monday. LA on Tuesday at Masterson's. More visits next week. Oh, I forgot to mention that. He was going to, uh, during, between the hearing and his next visit, he was just going to chill out with Dick Masterson at the Barbie Dream Doll Mansion. So... Perfect plan, perfect plan. A nice week away from the horrors. Uh, and also in regards to his visit, he said this. Uh, my son Xander ran into my arms and called me Bluey when we visited today. Ha 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 ha. I forgot that was his favorite show. Another excellent visit. It's a shame that malignant influences want to stop a son who loves his father from seeing him. At least seven hugs and a cheek kiss. So, uh, this is also his court musings. It's heating up. It's getting closer to that big day. Vickers is promising a lot. Ethan Ralph is on the back pedal. He says, uh, because if you don't know, the, the domestic violence restraining order between him and Vickers is two way. Vickers is not supposed to talk shit about Ralph, and Ralph is not supposed to talk shit about Vickers. But obviously, Vickers talks a lot of shit about Ralph. Um, how does he justify doing it? He says that because his Twitter account is private, and he just so happens to allow everyone from the forum and from like YouTube 
uh, IP2 blood sport like podcasters to talk about like he leaks all those tweets out to them they're still technically private so therefore he's not talking shit about Ralph that's like his le- actual legal legal theory and Ralph replies to the saying there is no private account provision in court when you say what you say in public is what you said in public on a public website. That's an internal Twitter feature. It doesn't feature in the law, though. You still may post from public website and screens cap me daily. So a guy who screen caps me daily, demeans against the agreement me daily, slanders me daily, is the one filing. Or through any persons or any media. It doesn't say a private Twitter account that I run so people can screen cap to exempt from media. Social media, it's in the name. It also includes YouTube and helpers like COG. I'm not going to address it again or any of this until court in May, but you're dead wrong with your dollar store attempt at violating the order. You violated it at least 400 times, and I'm not kidding. And with YouTube, it's documented. I'm going to just talk about how I get to see my son and tell fun stories. That makes you and someone else way more angry than anything I can say here, so I'm done being baited. My son knows that I'm his father. That's what I won, and none of you can ever take that victory back. And now, Vickers really ups the ante, spits in Ralph's face, and dares him to do something about it. Limited time... Oh, I guess I shouldn't do it in the Ralph voice, just for clarity's sake. Limited time release at, from our at-cost, no-profit merchandise store. If you want it, get it quick, because it goes away on, you guessed it, Mother's Day. And then it's a shirt saying, the good, the bad, and the vicious. There is no light. There is only fire. With a tasteful picture of uh, Ethan Ralph's mother photoshopped into a fiery background, implying that she's in hell. Ralph replies to this saying, can you imagine this family actually complains in court wasting money about what I say about them online? This is the grandmother of his grandson, and she was a hell of a lot more accomplished than his big heifer. MBA, all kinds of audit awards. Y'all run a pawn shop, Lamafo. So now, it's on Vickers. He filed pro... See, what happened is, is that Ralph figured out that Vickers was intending to bankrupt him by filing so much bullshit in court that he wouldn't be able to afford it and would simply start to lose. So privy to this, Ralph began to manage his own filings and uh, uh, just answered pro se. So Vicar is realizing that his tactic would no longer work, decided that he would be smart enough to file pro se too. The problem is, is that when you file uh motions as the the offensive party pro se well in general it's a it's a problem to file pro se um but when you especially are are the on the offensive side you have to really know the proceedings and the technicalities of court so you can file a wonderful uh court document that says everything that it should but if you don't know the motions of the court, how to call in witnesses, how to present evidence correctly, you're setting yourself up for a lot of faults. And that you can't really even make fun of somebody for not getting court shit right because there's a reason why you need a lawyer. Vickers decided that he had what it takes to represent himself. And so after uh, a filing that I read briefly last stream that I couldn't see anything particularly wrong about... He shows up in court and, um, oh, rather, before I say that, um, Ralph was actually so afraid of Vickers that he said, I might be going to jail. Uh, it's five days per offense, and he was being charged 32 times. So he put out a message saying, I might be going to jail. Tomorrow I go to court on what, let's face it, is some pretty bullshit. Uh, contempt charges in my opinion full respect for the court. I don't have any respect for the charges uh, I feel like it's lawfare at its finest uh, They wanted me to waste four thousand uh, dollars to have a lawyer represent me on a very minor contempt matter 
Uh, now we'll see. You never know what can happen in court. Um, maybe it ends up not being minor. Maybe the judge gets mad. Who knows? Uh, but I would expect a, a, a minor turnout tomorrow. We'll see, though. We'll see, uh, you know, if they carry me away, they carry me the way. It won't be the first time. Uh, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't even shake a leaf at going to jail for fighting to see my son, which is what I've done, what I've accomplished. He knows I'm his father. He gives me hug after hug. Uh, it's been quite the experience getting to see him and quite the experience defeating all the people who wanted me not to see him. Uh, and so to all those people, I got a big fuck you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm flying out to Los Angeles to stay with Dick Masterson right after, assuming, you know, the worst. Uh... But uh, I don't assume the worst. So uh, I'll see you in L.A. tomorrow. I'll see you uh, uh, in Nevada City tomorrow morning. The person correcting me in chat saying that it was Faith, not Matthew Vickers. Yes, it was. But I think Matthew Vickers is writing her filings. So with all that said... Um, the, uh, Faith shows up in court. Vickers is there. They're filing pro se. And the judge who has received the hearing, the, um, the filing for uh, to hold Ralph in contempt of court, asks Faith to present her case. So uh, Faith says, according to Ethan and Ralph, but Matthew Vickers hasn't contradicted this in any way that I've seen, asked... Um, Faith to, to present her case, and Faith said, uh, Yeah, Anna, I believe that the case is stated in the filings. And the judge says, That's not how that works. Hearing dismissed. And Matthew Vickers lost against Ethan Ralph. I'm live out here on the courthouse steps where the Vickers v. Ralph case just got thrown out because, uh, well, turns out they didn't know what they were doing. And the case just got completely dismissed. So it turns out I came all this way, well, just to see my son. I still get to see him next weekend. Unfortunately, I got to wait around a whole week, but not that's not the case because I'm headed to Los Angeles to see Dick Masterson after this gigantic W. Thank you, Twitter. Thank you for all your support. Take that L, coin man. Vickers, according to him in a tweet, by the way, Ralph said that Vickers literally chased him out of the courtroom and yelled at him down the hallway of the court, uh, promising that he would refile with the help of an attorney. So now Vickers, who has, by his own admission, spent upwards of $70,000 to try and fight Ethan Ralph in court, is spending another 5000 to file this uh, contempt of court hearing with the help of, a, of an actual uh, attorney. Um, we'll see what happens. Ralph doesn't seem too bothered. Here's my ah, boy. The taste of victory. <sighs> 9 a.m., literally 9 a.m., California time, having a nice celebratory I beer. I some other people are chasing. <laughs> and, um, Vickers coping about it on Twitter. I want to, God, you know what? <laughs> I kind of want to pull, I didn't even think about this until just now. But there's like a Twitter from oh I can't even find it because uh because he has a private Twitter account. If my site's working, I may be able. If we're f fortunate, I just want to show you how long this fucking copes cope post was. Um, we'll see if we're lucky. We may not be, though. This is just people making fun of Vickers for being a retard. Oh. 
Oh, here we go. Okay, this is it. This is Vickers totally not mad. You ready? Because uh, Iso Shaggy, who is the biggest uh, rough dick sucker, mentioned how he had spent over $70,000 fighting Ralph. This is where that comes from. He says, oh, he means total cost of everything since Ralph entered our lives. Yeah, that's probably a close estimate. So not only did Ralph take uh, Faith and gunt her and produce a child with her so that Mr. Vickers will be forever inexorably linked to Ethan Ralph genetically forever and ever and ever. Amen. Uh, he's taken $70,000 of his money. And he continues saying... That's probably a close estimate, but accomplish nothing as a collective effort. Team V, yeah, it includes all of us, has achieved one convicted sex offender. Um, so he's not a registered sex offender. He pled nolo contendere and was found guilty. But it's not like he has lost any freedom. His suspended sentence was completed uh uh, recently or last year even five years dbro four years remaining willingly signed that's true he can't talk shit about faith three years mutual order two years remaining willingly signed that's also true but you can't enforce it so i don't know what that means appropriate restrictions to rough visiting his son i.e., making sure those visitations are brief controlled and supervised willingly signed Okay, it would be better not to have a child with Ethan Ralph. Okay. Upcoming contempt trial on my case, which will have an attorney present. So, you're spending more money. Faith home and free of Ralph's abuse, except she has a child with another man and is raising him with a, fi with a Mexican fiancé. Happy, healthy grandson. That's cope. They say, like... I don't even want to read that. That kind of makes me nauseous. To consider the, the guntening of his W. That's like mental... That's like, I have to say... I have to convince myself of this or I'm going to blow my fucking brains out. That's like, I'm going to commit suicide if I can't convince myself of this is a, is a thing in my favor. Um... Probably a bunch of other stuff down the road because your master can't help himself. That, my retarded friend, is worth every single penny. With dots for uh, emphasis like a child. Worth every single minute of time. I should read that dramatically. That, my retarded friend, is worth every single penny. Worth every single minute of time. But you say that all that is meaningless because of a setback to each their own. Those are the gains which, by necessity, are Ralph's losses. Play it in reverse. What are Ralph's gains? He gets to see his son eight hours max a month where he can fly out of his Mexican hidey hole enough time having to pay for drug tests, remain sober, pay for visitations, etc. You can call it a win if you want, but it seems pretty fleeting to me. So that's the coat post. No, I'm not a fat retard that loses all the time and spent thousands of dollars to fight Ralph. Oh, you can, you can count today as a Ralph win. I do, and fair is fair. But if Ralph takes a W, then Team B takes an L. But what has the L cost us? Not $70,000. We covered that above. Ralph hasn't gained any ground on what he really wants. Anytime he can delay the inevitable, it's a win for him. But if you don't understand that this is just another kick in the can down the road scenario, I'm not sure how to help you. You will say that I'm coping, seething, mentally broken, melting down. And I'll just leave it there. I'm not going to finish reading that paragraph. I'll just, can, I'll just agree, nod my head in agreement with that statement and move on. It's now time for everybody's favorite new segment. It's time to beat a dead horse. And now it's time to beat a dead horse. Alarm! 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 Breaking. Breaking news. There, the barn is empty. I repeat, we have a code 404. The horse is not in the barn. Horse not in the barn. All units, all units. The horse has fled. 
Ethan Ralph announces short announcement, but Sad and Trad and I have decided to separate. I probably won't have much to say about it, but I want to get in front of the news. I'll go see some BoJack landmarks tomorrow, like the Griffith Observatory and stuff. Maybe the Lakers store. Show is doubtful, but maybe. I may also return to Mexico early. I haven't decided. I have more visitation with my son this weekend, but I think I'm just going to be alone back in Mexico now. So, the question is, after this announcement, is this gay fame? Is this gay fame? Now, I, of course, immediately lean towards this is gay fame. May is so stupid, so malicious, so spiteful. There's no way she could ever possibly take her or her child's well-being into account enough to get the fuck out in Mexico. Uh, so the mystery deepens. Uh, because he and Ralph also said, this, nah, this is the huge L after the big W that I always get. I actually thought I would avoid it somehow this time. Dick Masterson was even talking about being, like, weary about it. Ha <laughs> ha. I guess he was right. And then I'm reading this, and I'm like, that's self-aware. That's, like, self-aware. That's, like, a, that's like too self-aware for Ralph. And he follows up by posting a BoJack Horseman meme, which is also self-aware. I'm thinking, like, she didn't leave. This is like a fake thing. Because he so everyone's going to be waiting for the big L after my W. So I'll, I'll invent it. It'll be me leaving. But then he clarifies again. Harry Morris pulled out the checkbook. I couldn't really compete. Hope she enjoys the negative 23 degrees summer. All women are like barely loyal cats anyways. Hmm. That's a that's a bit strange that he would he would make fun say he he was outspent by Harry Morris that it was a money thing because Ralph doesn't usually say that he's broke even when he is. So that's strange. So now we just need Harry Morris to confirm it. Uh, though here's a throwback to them arguing about money, which kind of backs up what he's saying. It's a top theory out there. No, I'm that not. you're the chief A log, actually. I just think we should spend our money on things that matter, like cares that I wear. That's a that's a top theory out there. I really don't care about that stuff at all. I'm just too, but I don't. I'm a mom. I want to dress this for Rosie. I'm more. <laughs> I can't Shut that door, fuck. By the way, matter like Someone's uh, posted in the comments and figured it out. Matter like Who cares what I wear? That's what she's saying. Because he was saying, why, "Why don't I buy you like a sexy dress?" And she's like, "Why don't you spend money on literally anything that fucking matters? Who cares what I wear?" And that makes sense. So, um, we know they were arguing over money, and uh, his friends start consoling him. Vito the pedo comes in and says, frowning face, you're a good guy, Vito the pedo. The people who slander you are pieces of garbage. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for always supporting me. Vito says that he's a child molester, and Ethan Rouse says, Yeah, it's not meant for me. Bitter cynicism in an early grave is destiny. So he's suicide baiting on Twitter to his uh, buddy Vito Lupito. And uh, he again laments, Sometimes you back the wrong horse. Francis Beret tries to encourage him a little bit and says, Uh... Please listen to the comments, Ralph. You my nigga. You and Nick Fuentes saved my life after I was paralyzed from the jab. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm in a chair now. I work out in the sunrise, and Nick and Wang help me find orthodoxy. Please get help, Ralph. Please, for Rosie. I'm glad we inspired you. Ralph replies, sadly. I don't think he follows up with that. 
He starts threatening her on Twitter, saying, Steals my kid while I'm out of the country. I'll never forgive that. And then also reminds that uh, he has a cat. This is like a cat he's had since Nora was around, but he rarely talks about the cat. Apparently he brought it to Mexico, and he says, Cleo is still holding the title belt as the most loyal pussy I've ever had. Kind of implying that he intends to fuck the cat when he gets home. And then, uh, to add insult to injury, Google bullies him and says, Check out the RalphRetort.com and Nora with a picture of him and Nora in the little thing, reminding him that he will literally never find another woman better than Nora, and he completely fucked up his whole life by cheating on her and getting divorced. Uh, which is pretty pretty epically owned. So I have a special clip that I'm saving uh, for at the end of the stream regarding Ralph, but that's the update. The horse has fled, and Harry Morris has said that uh, she has left. He has confirmed it, but he said that she's not coming home to him. Uh, he implied that she he, she's either with her sisters or her mother, uh, who Harry Morris is separated from. We don't really know what, what her status is. The truth is, is that she's a very stubborn horse, and she's very spiteful towards the internet. She's definitely reading what everyone's saying about her. She might be listening to this right now, because she knows I make fun of her every stream. Um, so she definitely doesn't want to post. She, she probably literally stayed and subjected her own child to the miseries of being around Ethan Ralph because she didn't want the internet to think that she that she acknowledges because we all think that she made a mistake by hooking up with Ralph but she didn't want people to think that she thought that so she stuck around for way longer than was reasonable trying to redeem Ralph or whatever the fuck and she fled and when she fled she didn't go to her husband or not her husband but her, her father because she literally can't even look her own father in the eyes after the great and horrendous shame she has brought herself and her entire family over the last year. So she has uh, fled to an anonymous third party where she's staying for the, for the moment. And she's so fucking stupid. So soulless. So vindictive. So reckless with disregard for her own safety and the safety of her daughter. That she might still go back. If she went back to Ethan Ralph I would not be surprised. Because she's just that fucking stupid. And that fucking awful. Uh, but we do know for a fact now that she's gone, at least for a little bit. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.